Hi, welcome to the Market Alert uh, for Monday the 23rd of November 2020. So the stocks uh, dip on Friday, cryptos uh, roar to the upside as dark winter trumps spring reopening, i.e. more lockdowns to come. So let's have a look at uh, Friday. Again, a quiet day uh, and you can see this in the pre-market session that we had uh, prices trading uh, sideways just on the DP and the 200MA if you recall from Friday's uh, Market Alert. And then we had uh, some news. The market uh, then opened at uh, 7 a.m. That's the futures market. So a bit of volatility there as prices uh, were sold into immediately, forcing prices back down below the DP level, back to the 20 bar moving average, which you see here, and uh, then uh, back down to the close. So prices uh, trading sideways, as you can see there. And then uh, eventually we get to the open when uh, we have just the briefest uh, spell that you can see prices trading back down to the close and uh, the buying coming in there and then uh, selling straight from the off. As soon as the market opens, we had two bars. We've got this one here and this huge uh, volume here where prices uh, moved lower. And then immediately we find the support coming in. You see the volume there, green volume, market moves uh, higher. We uh, see a bit of selling there as well because we had selling here to start with. So it's picked up again at the high of this bar. And then we get a uh, reversal, we get a buy signal. The market uh, moves up. It's going to take out the DP and the 200 MA, which it does. And then immediately we have uh, Lagarde speaking. The criminal was out at uh, 8.15. So a case of having to stand aside, collect profits, not a lot. Uh, and then the market just traded sideways. And you can see the selling coming in, everybody else doing the same thing before she uh, uh, starts to speak, just in case she's going to say something negative or criminal, as the case may be. And uh, then you see prices trading sideways uh, during her uh, speech. And uh, the morning really was that. And then we just had this uh, breakthrough to the upside. Uh, to the R1 where prices uh, then stopped. And again, you can see the profit taking at this level. And then prices just drifting uh, yet again, uh, waiting for uh, other news. So in the afternoon, we'll just fast forward to uh, this. The market opened. We had a potential buy signal. We got some selling straight uh, away coming into this, uh, which I thought we might get a reversal. But we're above the DP. We've just got the 200 MA in the way there to get through, uh, which uh, would give us the opportunity to uh, um, move the stop or start to move. Think about moving the stop to break even and reducing the risk. And you can see there, there must have been some absorption coming into the market at the 20 bar moving average. We have a lot of volume there, and yet the next bar reverses and moves back to the upside. So uh, they want the market to high. You can see the absorption there now as the green bar is confirmed with the shorts taking profits and uh, some new buying coming into the market. Prices go through the scalp, move the stop to break even, which is below the 200 MA there. And then price is trading up and then starting to uh, come back. And just watch the volume here as prices start to reverse. You can see the selling coming in. Prices come back to the R1 and the five bar moving average start to close below it. And uh, it's a case of uh, thank you very much for the profits. And then prices drift back down to where they started. They rebound to the 200 MA. Uh, an interesting bar here. Just have a look at this. Look at the volume in this bar at the 200 MA. You can see that it's uh, huge compared to the previous bar that reversed, but it's making no progress to the upside. So there has to be some selling in this bar. And there uh, you'll see prices uh, having to retest before they can move to the upside, but still struggling to close above the 200 uh, MA there. And a slight increase in volume in this bar. And prices once again struggling with that uh, 200 MA. It's uh, fascinating to see. So we need to shake out. If you can't move higher, then you've got to shake out and you'll see prices uh, moving down to the downside. And uh, again, got some profit taking coming in here. The volume is greater than the previous bar, uh, narrower in range. So there's uh, profit taking and uh, some absorption of the selling there. So prices then just drift back to the upside. And again, you've got uh, 
uh, some selling coming into the market. But uh, as I say, the market at the moment is waiting. We've got this indecision with the US election. Uh, this week, to add to things, we've got uh, Thanksgiving later in the week as well. Uh, on a positive note, though, the market's free to move to the upside. The implied volatility is still uh, moving to the downside, albeit Friday we did see a slight increase to the upside. But this is, uh, you know, can still go a lot lower, which uh, the lower it goes, the bigger the correction will be as we go further into uh, uh, the winter. So on Friday we had Lagarde speaking at 8.15 and the other news was that the retail sales before this, which was in the just as the futures market opened. So let's have a look, see where we are news wise before we have a look at the overnight markets uh, today. Uh, we've got a lot of news today, a lot of news uh, from 8.15. I'm just looking to see if there's any central bankers. Otherwise, these uh, are just general run of the mill economic news items that will be. Uh, release there. So take note of what uh, we've got there. A lot of news, 8.15, 8.30, 9.30, and then over to the afternoon. But let's have a, just a, a quick look at what we've got for the rest of the week. Uh, Tuesday, we've got uh, just the, a couple of news items. Wednesday, we've got the FOMC meeting minutes. It's uh, November, so there's no press conference. That's next uh, next month. And uh, there we go. We've got Thanksgiving, which is coming in on Thursday. The markets are shut on Friday as well. So we've got a short week this week. Half day trading on Wednesday, closed on Thursday, half day on Friday. So just keep that in mind as well. So just to add to uh, everything. So have a look at uh, the overnight markets again. We're trying to move the markets to the upside. Now, I would imagine that's going to be the case this week. Famous last words, no doubt. But uh, anything to break out of this sideways move. And also to then move the implied volatility down into the lows. The lower this goes, the bigger the correction will be in the underlying market. So, yeah, we can see that we're attempting to move prices back to the upside. What I'd be inclined to do here is to uh, come to this high down to Thursday's low just to see where we are with uh, any sort of uh, retracement. And you can see we're through the 38 we're also through the 50 and we're just sitting at the 62 percent uh, retracement there and what i'll do is just spread this out a bit and then just drag the chart to the left so we can see it uh, a bit more and there are the sort of areas where you can expect to see uh, a bit of resistance uh, either today it wouldn't take a lot just to move through this to the all-time high and it's the same in uh, the Dow as well, which you can see there. A bit easier to see though if we just uh, grab the markup. We go from uh, this high down to uh, this low, and these are your areas of uh, potential resistance if uh, prices do move to uh, back to the uh, 30,000 level there for the Dow. So let's have a look at the two minute chart overnight, see where we are. We've come off the, we're actually above uh, Friday's high. We're above the 200 MA. If we're above the 200 MA, we're likely to be, well, for certain, if we're above the high, we're above the DP, that's for certain. And uh, here uh, you can see the levels that uh, I drew in last week as well are still on the chart, which will uh, be between the R1 and the R2, and then just above the R2 if prices move to the upside. But at the moment, if I had to, to make a, a guess, uh, barring any bad news, uh, then the market is likely to uh, move up, up uh, and back to uh, that uh, 13,300 uh, level uh, for me uh, this week. Because, like I say, it's Thanksgiving. We've only got uh, two days, Monday, Tuesday, then half day closed, half day for uh, Friday. Okay, that will do it uh, for this one. If there is anything else to report, I will let you know. But uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.